Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparisons video and this is Blue Ink's comparison video number one. So I think let's go and swab up some inks. So the first thing I have here is a small shoe bottle and this is Mont Blanc Blue Black. So let's do an ink swatch. You can see that this is quite a sort of different blue. Now, this is Mont Blanc. And I believe it's blue black. It certainly doesn't look like a normal blue to me. So I'm going to put it in here blue black. Uh, it came with one of my Mont Blanc pens, but it doesn't actually have an actual label on there to say what colour it is. But I believe it's either the blue black or permanent blue. And you can see there, it doesn't really say what the colour is on this bottle, unfortunately. The next bottle of ink is Pilot Awashizuku Sukiyo. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a blue ink that I haven't used a lot of. So let's put another saturated layer there of ink down. And I've had this ink for not that long, maybe a year, I think. But it was an ink that I wanted to try a few more blue inks because I don't normally write with blue inks a lot. So this is Pilot Iwashizuku and it's Sukiyo. The next ink is an Akamon ink and this is Akamon number one Passage Blur. We'll do an ink swatch. And this is another blue ink that I've not used a lot of. And honestly, I need to start using this ink. It's actually surprising that some of these inks I really haven't used a lot of or used at all. And then I look at these inks and then suddenly it's like, that is a really lovely, punchy, bright blue. And I think I would actually like to write with that in some of my pens. So this is Akamon. And it's Passage. Blur. Or Blue. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Topaz. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is an ink that I like to use a lot. And I do find, like a lot of these Edelstein inks, it tends to be a little bit dry in a lot of pens. But if you can find a wet nibbed pen, then you will actually do pretty good from it. So we'll do a writing sample. So it's Pelican, Edelstein, topaz but that is a really nice blue ink that I do like writing with a lot another ink that I do like is Pilot Washizuku Compeki the next ink is another Akamon ink and this is Akamon and it's shocking blue and it's shocking for a reason so we'll do an ink swatch Now this is a highly saturated ink. So I'm going to try and put it on a little bit more wetter. And hopefully you can see it there. Do a little bit more wetness there. So this is Akamon. Shocking blue. Now this is a sheening ink, so hopefully once that dries you will see some sheen there. And if I show you the rim of the bottle there, 
hopefully you can kind of see some sort of red sheen going on there. The next ink is another Ackermann ink and this is number six Binnenhof Blues. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this turns out to be a little bit more of a like a purpley blue or maybe a violety blue. So this is Ackermann and it is Binnenhof Blues. But that is actually a nice blue ink that I've used quite a bit in pens. The next ink is another Ackermann ink and it's Delft's Blur. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this tends to be a little bit more of a washable blue. I'll put a little bit more down so you can see it if it's in a wet nibbed pen. So we'll do a writing sample. So this is Ackermann and it's Delft's Blur. The next ink is an Ackermann Dutch Masters ink and this is Cerulean Bleu Van Vermeer. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see there this actually quite a wet ink. So this is Ackermann. And it's Cerulean Bleu and it's Van Vermeer. And then the last ink is a Blackstone ink and it's Blackstone Barrier Reef. We'll do an ink swatch. Now this can also be quite a saturated ink and sometimes it does lend itself to some sheening going on. So I'm just going to try and put a little bit more on there so that you can see it. Maybe we'll get to see the sheen. I don't always see the sheen on this one. It depends really on the nib of the pen. And this is Blackstone Barrier Reef. But that's an ink that I have used a lot in my pens. And when I say it's a sheening ink, you may be able to see some of that red sheen going on there around the cap of that bottle. There's quite a lot of red sheen there. So let's go through these inks one more time. So we have Mont Blanc Blue Black, which is more black than blue I would say. It's almost more of a greeny colour I would say. Like a, a greeny blue, almost like a teal to a point. But I think it is a blue black. We have Pilot Washizuku Sukiyo. Now this does have, if I can catch the light, some sheening going on there. You see it there in, in that light. So that's quite a bit of a nice blue but it also has some shading going on as well. We have Ackermann Passage Blur, which is a really nice light blue ink and does have a lot of shading going on. There's no sheening going on with that ink though. We then have Pelican Edelstein Topaz, which for me is a really lovely light blue ink and an ink that I do like a lot and I do use a lot. So if I don't use either Pilot Washizuku Compeki, then I will either use Pelican Edelstein Topaz or Waterman Inspired Blue for one of those sort of light turquoisey sort of blue sort of colours really. 
And then we have Akamon Shocking Blue. And I said that this was shocking because you will see the amount of sheen that that provides. It is insane. So if you want a sheening ink and you want an Akamon ink, then Akamon Shocking Blue is a really nice blue to have. But obviously with all of these sheening style inks, they tend to be a little bit more sort of heavy on maintenance in terms of cleaning it out of pens. So I wouldn't put them in any demonstrator pens just in case. Then we have Akamon Binnenhof Blues. And this I find is a little bit more of a purpley or violety blue. Uh, it's a little bit more of a muted blue. There's a slight sort of sheen going on at the top left there but very very difficult to see not a lot of shading going on you do have to put it down quite wet but there is some shading and sheen going around here and then we have Akamon Delft's Blur and that does have a lot of shading and also has a little bit of sheen around those shading edges there you might be able to see just a slight smidgen of sheen there and then we have Akamon Cerulean Bleu Van Vermeer, which is really a little bit more of a blue-black or a blue-teal. Uh, and that does have some sheen going on again and also shading going on there. And then we have Blackstone Barrier Reef. And I said that if you put this on quite heavy, you will see some sheen. And if I get the camera just right you will see that sheen there as well so that is very similar to shocking blue uh, it's a lovely red blue sheen going on there so that's my blue inks comparison number one video if any of these blue inks you like do leave a comment below if there are any other blue inks that you have that i haven't showed in this video then do let me know in the comments below so that's my Blue Ink Comparisons number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.